Question 10. Megan has a fair six-sided dice. She throws the dice twice. Calculate the probability that she throws a four both times. Okay, so we're looking at Megan getting a four and a four. So we're looking at the probability of a four and then her getting another four. Okay, now don't forget that in maths, when we're doing probability, the AND rule means that AND means multiply. We're going to multiply these two probabilities together. So the probability of getting a 4 on a first 4 throw is 1 over 6. And so multiply the probability of getting a 4 on a second throw is also 1 over 6. Okay, multiplying the two fractions together. So pow pow, 1 times 1 is 1. 6 times 6 is 36. So the probability of getting a double 4 is 1 over 36. Now, if you haven't been taught it this way, you could do it a longer way. So you could do it by listing out all the different outcomes. So here they are. You could get a 1 on the 1 dice and a 1 on the 2nd dice. Then you could get a 1 the 1st time and a 2 the 2nd time, a 1 the 1st time and a 3 the 2nd time, etc. You can get all these different outcomes when you throw the dice twice. So it's 36 outcomes there, 36 equally likely outcomes. And if we look, one of those is our double four. So we've got one out of 36 equally likely outcomes. Okay, so there's two methods of doing that question.